Hello everybody! I love bath bombs. They are a great do-it-yourself gift or you can keep them and have just fun and pamper yourself. I found a way to make the recipe even easier. No more buying tons of different wet ingredients. All is solved by just using bath oils. You will need 100 grams of baking soda, not baking powder, 50 to 75 grams of citric acid, more citric acid means more bubbles, and some bath oils. Optionally, you can also add Epsom salt. And if your bath bombs don't really hold well together, you can use cornstarch. Normally, you need some kind of oil, fragrance, coloring, etc. for wet ingredients. However, if you use bath oils, you have all this and even more, and you know it won't irritate your skin. You can get actual bath bomb molds, or like me, just use some Christmas ornaments. First off, I will show you this basic bath bomb, using only the main three ingredients. First, put some gloves on, oh, believe me, your hands end up like mine. Add the dry ingredients, baking soda and citric acid, to a bowl and mix them well. Make sure that there are no clumps, you can use a strainer for that. Next, you will need a bath oil of your choice. I use this one from Kneipp, which has a lovely blue color and smells amazing. Add the oil gradually and start mixing it right away. If you don't, everything can start reacting in the bowl and the bath bomb is ruined. You know your bath bomb is ready to get into the mold when you press it in your hand and it holds together as one. If, however, your mixture is still too dry, you can use witch hazel or rubbing alcohol in a small spraying bottle. Start packing the mixture into the mold and pop the two parts together. Leave it to dry at least overnight. To unmold them, I found it helped tapping on it with a spoon. Next, I will show you how to make this two-toned lavender bath bomb. Again, mix the dry ingredients together. This time you will divide them into two separate bowls. Epsom salt is a great addition to bath bombs as it helps you relax. You can add some of it to your mixture. Since I want the bath bomb to smell like lavender, adding another bath oil would ruin that. That's why I use coconut oil instead. Put some into a cup and microwave it so it's liquid. Now add it to the mixture until you reach the right consistency. For the lilac part of the bath bomb, I used lavender bath oil. However, as you can see, the color is blue, not exactly what we want. To change the color, you can add a little bit of red food coloring. You may have noticed the mixture reacted to the food coloring. But if you mix it right away, there is no problem. The second time around, I found it easier adding the food coloring to a spray bottle and spraying that onto the mixture. 
Next, get some dried lavender and add it to the bottom of the mold. Now start adding the mixture to the mold, switching it up sometimes. Again, leave it to dry overnight and you're done! Last, we have this luxurious golden bath bomb. I think by now you all know the drill. Dry ingredients are mixed with bath oil and in this case I recommend something orange or yellow. This bath bomb has to dry at least 24 hours. To make it this cool gold color, you can either get gold pigment or use a cheap gold eyeshadow. I found this one by Kiko and it worked amazingly. Spray some rubbing alcohol on the bath bomb and start painting it gold. If it helps, you can also spray it directly on the eyeshadow to get it more to a liquid consistency. Painting the bath bomb will take you a while, but the end result is worth it. cool bath bombs so easy to make i hope you enjoyed this video let me know which one is your favorite and subscribe if you want to see more see you soon